KNF Concept recently sent me a set of their neutral density filters and the timing really couldn't be more perfect and let me explain to you why. So KNF Concept, in case you don't know, is a manufacturer of a bunch of camera accessories, but one thing they really excel at is making filters for our cameras. Now, filters are one of those things where I think that we're starting to see people use less and less often in their photography because you can do so much in your post-processing that some of these filters have become almost unnecessary, like linear gradients in Lightroom to you know, cut down exposure in the sky or adding star effects in Luminar Neo. And these were things that we used to do with filters, right? But let me tell you why I was thinking about this. Well, one of the reasons is if we're going to be good at our craft, which is photography, we need to do better than what everyone else is doing. So if your goal is just to take a picture with a good exposure, well, you need to be better than that because anyone can do that. All you need is one of these, right? I can hand this to just about anybody, have them take a picture, and it'll take a picture with a good exposure. You don't need to know a thing about photography. So back in the day, right, we used filters to kind of compensate for things that were more difficult to do in post-processing. So this set of neutral density filters that they sent me out can create some effects that are difficult or maybe even impossible to do with a cell phone, right? So this allows us to be better than what the average person can do and that should be our goal as photographers. So in this set, there is a magnetic adapter and it's installed on my lens right here. It just screws into place. And then from there, it comes with a set of four neutral density filters. And the first one is a graduated neutral density filter to GND8, which cuts three stops of light in that shaded part of the top, okay? And that would basically lower the exposure of your skies, right? And again, very easy to do in post, but if you're doing it in camera, that's even better, right? Uh, on top of that, it comes with also, uh, I gotta just check this. Okay, this is the ND8, which cuts out three stops of light. This is the ND64, and an ND64 cuts six stops of light, and then an ND1000, like I can't even see you through that right now, cuts out 10, stack, 10 stops of light. And one of the cool things is they are magnetic, so that's it, it's now installed. So now I have an ND1000 on here, cuts out 10 stops of light. Now on top of that though, I could stack the ND64. So now I have an ND1064, which would cut 16 stops of light. And you can continue to stack them, of course. And because they're super thin, they don't cause any vignetting and they're not seen in the edges of your photos, which is very nice. And the lens cap will still work and the lens hood and things like that. So what, can we do with these that we couldn't do with this? Well, basically, when we remove light, we're creating longer shutter speeds. So some of the things that we can do, especially with water, this works really well in clouds as well, we can make them kind of drag. So like we can take a scene where there are waves and make it look like the water is still. Or we could take a scene where there are clouds and make them kind of look like just like a, like there's soft, uh, straight movement, almost brushed. Same with, uh, again, like a waterfall, okay? Take a waterfall, but make the water look silky smooth. So that, that's some of the things that you can do with these ND filters. Very hard to do in post, very hard to do with the phone. So I think that this is why we need to start reconsidering some of these filters, like neutral density filters, because these are things that we couldn't do you know, just in, easily in post, and we can't do easily with a phone. It's putting a set of tools in our toolbox as photographers that make us a little bit better than what the average person can do. All right, so let's take a look at some sample photos. Okay, so in case you're into the technical stuff on this kit, it is a five-in-one filter kit. It 
includes the magnetic adapter ring, the ND filter, the pouch, the graduated neutral density 8, the ND8, ND64, and ND1000 plus the magnetic ring. So, yep, so that's good. One second swap, obviously, you can do it super quick and you can stack or remove filters very quickly because it's magnetic based. 28 multi coder, multi layer coatings. Okay, so let's just talk quick about the technical side of this. It is a five in one kit, so you get the graduated neutral density 8, the ND8, the ND64, the ND1000 magnetic ring, and of course that nice filter pouch which you can put on your camera bag strap or your belt, and that's pretty handy to have actually like that. Okay, of course you can rapidly swap them and stack them because they are magnetic. It is 28 multi-layer coatings, so it is premium optical glass. Okay, it's double-sided multi-coated, so there's no risk of added chromatic aberration. Uh, of course, they're waterproof. I mean, they're glass. I mean, that's almost a silly st stat to say, but water apparently does just bead off of them. So, uh, and aside from that, they're, you know, super slim. So they're 1.9 millimeter to 3.33 millimeter. So you should have no vignetting uh, all the way down to 16 millimeter. So that's also very nice to know. And they are priced at, that kit is $161.99. And I also have a coupon code that you can use to save you 10%. Coupon code is Shutterspeak. Now let's look at some sample images. Okay, so some sample images. And you see here at sunrise, we have that nice smooth water effect. We have a lot of softness in the moving clouds right here, almost like they were painted with a brush. And again, just the, the nice smooth water. And we get that nice beam of sun coming up just over the horizon there. So, and again, you can see almost like a fog from the waves coming in right over here along these rocks. So that's kind of the effect that you're gonna get in with a, with a neutral density filter. And again, it's just, it's something that you can't do with a phone. Right, and that's gotta be the goal. So let's take a look at the next image. And here we have a black and white image of a pier. And now it's important here to note this is a 240 second exposure at F11, uh, ISO 64. And there were people walking up and down this pier, but they are gone from this image because they weren't in the exposure long enough really to be noticed. And you can see there was a boat actually that came in over here and that boat did hang out a little bit. And of course I can easily clean this up in Lightroom, but I want you to see that the remnants of that over there. And maybe you might be able to see a little bit over here. Maybe there was a person that was standing there for a little bit over here. They probably were there for a bit. And, uh, but basically you can make a place look empty. And that's kind of a cool, fun effect that you can do with these ND filters. All right here's a, another shot of that same pier. Again, people walking up and down this pier constantly, but they're not there. You do see the boat over here a little bit. That boat is it, it was in frame for quite a while. And again, 240 seconds. And look at the smoothness of the water here. And this, check out this bird who hung out long enough to actually get a proper exposure just hanging out on that rock with me, right? And again, you see that just that, that smooth silkiness, almost fog-like appearance of the water, you know, that just looks almost haunting in a way, right? And again, you can see some people that were here, right, that did hang out. There's a bird that kind of hung out long enough. And, you know, if we wanted to, we could clean this up and make it look like no one was here if we wanted to, or we could kind of leave that in there to give the ghosting effect of people coming back and forth. You know, it's just kind of a creative choice. And here is the Skyway Bridge at sunrise, a 180 second exposure at F16 at ISO 100 at 24 millimeter. And again, that nice, you know, glass-like almost smooth surface of the water and again painted clouds and you know you know i'm torn on the clouds on this one maybe maybe the, that exposure is too long for these clouds because they are very uh, like 
almost brush strokey, but it wasn't uh, a pretty cloud type of day. And the same shot, just in black and white. Just to show you what that looks like, because these pictures, I think, do lend themselves well to black and white, all of this stuff with the neutral density filter. And then here's the graduated neutral density filter. So we're just darkening up the sky at sunrise and kind of just pulling our direction of focus into that center image uh, of the sun there. So, and you can see uh, the, we can actually see vehicles on the bridge on this one. Whereas if we go back to here, you'll see that we don't see a single vehicle on the bridge, although we do see the streaks of lights from the cars. They, and I, I assure you, there were cars constantly going up and down this bridge. But again, they're they're invisible to us in you know in this exposure because it's just so long. And again, just something that you can do with these ND filters that you know somebody can't do with a cell phone. So just a little little extra fun that that we can have in our craft. Okay, so I hope that you have found some things in this video useful. If you did, I would appreciate you please considering subscribing. It's the best way that you can say thank you to me. And of course it's free. And I, I hope that this video made you think a little bit about maybe going back to some of the basics of photography to try and do things that are new in, or maybe things that are old, but in a new way with our new fancy digital mirrorless cameras, right? And just getting out there with things that are just different from what everyone else can do. And I think that rethinking filters is a great step towards that. And of course, editing style comes into play and direction of light and leading lines and composition and all those things. But it can't be just good exposure. It's got to be more than that. And I think that that's where filters come back into play. I would love to hear your thoughts on this subject. So let me know in the comments what your feelings are in terms of filters and, you know, like I said, brain back something more to the table than just good exposure. I'd love to hear your thoughts about it. And if you follow, you know, you usually answer. So uh, I always appreciate hearing from you guys and girls. Thanks for watching. See you again next time, YouTube. Don't forget 10% coupon on these. It'll be down in the video description if you want to pick up some filters from KNF. Okay, so hey, that's it. Thanks. Bye-bye, YouTube.